For many of us, a healthy social circle is just part of a well-balanced life. We rely on each other for companionship, grooming, playtime, love. But sometimes, life's twists and turns take us away from each other. Being social creatures, extended periods of isolation can understandably lead to separation anxiety, loneliness, or just plain old feeling blue. But rather than get overwhelmed, it might serve us to learn from our friends in nature, many of whom have perfected the art of flying solo. Take the three-banded armadillo. This unique looking critter's strong plated exterior is his main defense against the outside world. It's kind of symbolic of his way of life. When he senses threats in the area, the armadillo curls himself into a ball and will wait long stretches of time for intruders to pass before unfurling. Hmm, curling into a ball to hide from the world every once in a while sounds kind of nice, actually. Up next, a close relative of the armadillo, the giant anteater. He spends his days alone too. What's his favorite pastime? If you guessed eating, you're a good guesser. Using his long tongue, the anteater typically vacuums up roughly 30,000 ants a day, searching every nook and cranny for snacks. But while he can come off as a bottomless pit, he's smart enough to know not to damage the homes of the bugs he dines on. This allows him to come back later, for seconds and thirds and, well, you get the picture. He could eat just about everything in sight, but instead he makes sure the cupboards are never bare. Because as we all know, with great binge eating comes great responsibility. A life of solitude has plenty of perks. One of them is sleeping whenever you want and for as long as you like. And few catch as many Z's as the two-toed sloth. These guys are actually asleep more than they are awake, passing out for 15 to 18 hours a day. And who of us can't appreciate a good solid nap without having to wake up to an alarm clock no less? They spend most of their time way up in the trees, away from threats, and pretty much everyone else. The sloth actually only comes down from the trees about once a week, and that's so he can go handle his business. Why leave a fortress of solitude unless you have to, right? And when he does make his way down, he takes his sweet time. Hmm. Why are sloths so slow? You can chalk that up to an incredibly slow metabolism, as a result of the leaves he eats. He doesn't have time to worry too much about the world outside his tummy. Digestion is priority number one. Some might call sloths lazy, but can taking time to process things really be that bad? Besides, who cares what everyone else thinks? Sloth don't care. Even though these guys prefer to be on their own, it's not for everyone. Some creatures enjoy the gifts of togetherness, but still have lives to lead that call for them to be on their own most of the year. Take these cute little puffins. They form long-term bonds and are big on monogamy. Every year, they descend on sea coasts and islands, forming large breeding colonies. When it comes to child rearing, they take turns incubating their eggs, but then will go their separate ways, spending up to six months apart. And yet somehow, they always find their way back to one another. And they're not the only birds who invest in long distance relationships. Albatrosses can take time apart to a whole nother level. They're known to be on solo missions for up to 13 months at a time. And the distance is real. The journey is close to 75,000 miles. Yeah, no joke. But though time and space seem like everything sometimes, aside from death or failure to procreate, nothing will keep albatrosses from reuniting with their mates. And when they do see each other again, pretty obvious how excited they are. They know who they're with. Together at long last, they take part in mutual grooming. I mean, how could you not miss having someone who can hit those spots that you just can't reach? Till death do us part is a vow some birds take to heart. America's symbol of strength, the bald eagle is lesser known as a symbol of fidelity, but they deserve a little more credit in that department. Yeah, they tend to soar through the skies alone, but to eagles, one of the most important things in life is their mate. Year after year, they return to the same nest. And for an animal who's earned a reputation for independence, that's gotta count for something. As we transition through a period of great uncertainty, at times we find ourselves unsettled, as if things aren't as warm and secure as we'd prefer. But if we frame it in the right light, we might see there's plenty to gain from this time spent apart. 
this social distancing. And when the day comes when we do see each other again, you can bet it's going to be something worth squawking about.